Hi friends, welcome to my 30 inks, 30 days roundup. So here we see the month at a glance. Um, a lot of cool colors, not surprising. My favorite color is blue. Um, in fact, I guess I read somewhere that it's like everybody's favorite color. <laughs> like Exceptions obviously apply, but basically it's the world's favorite color. Maybe it's because of the color of the sky and the ocean. If you're lucky. <clears throat> so here's the month out of view. And the pins out of view. So there are only 29 pins here because uh, this pin that I used on day 28, I also used on day two. So one reuse. Um, I'm just getting a chair. So I thought we would take a look at my hits and misses, my surprises, my favorites. Uh, did I write, did I use up any of these inks? Well, spoilers, obviously the one I just mentioned. <laughs> Day two. So, um, but it turns out there's at least one other. What? So, let's go through this. Um, the other ink that I just found out that I used up all of is um, the one that was in here that was uh, Pannonia Abigail right here. Um, but here's what I thought I would do. Now I feel a bit like I'm cheating because I'm going to admit that I am filming this on the evening of day 30. So I'm cheating on today, but let's do a page where we talk about like the month in review. This isn't at the right angle for me, but, and I almost like don't want to use one of these pins to write it because well, then what am I doing? But we will. Um, let's put this down. June 2022, 30 inks, 30 days. Wrap up. So, I took brief notes ahead of time so that I would remember what I liked. I looked through, how did I, wait, first off, Let's talk about what I did with these inks. So obviously you saw the stuff I did in here, right? Um, I have two journals that I keep. One of them is like, um, uh, just like what's happening in my day. I'm not sharing this with you. This happens to be about looking at uh, researching a hike. So that's okay, this is from today. Uh, this is uh, the everyday book. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, it's from Galen Leather. It is Cosmo Air Light Paper. And um, so I wrote some amount in here every day. And then I also have one. Uh, I have a Hobonichi cousin that I write in every night. It's the last thing I do before bed. So... I experienced these pens and ink on, oh, and I will take notes for um, the DEI book club that I run um, run at work, and um, that's on whatever paper. I think I'm mostly using something I, I picked up a CVS notebook because I had heard from Chris Sainz that their paper was good. And so I, my Hobonichi, they use a Tomoe River paper. This Nebula notebook is Tomoe River, 52 gram. So is the Hobonichi, 52 gram. And then again, the Cosmo Air Light. Oh, and yeah. So do I have a top favorite? I'm not, I'm not going to rank them. 
but I do have some favorites. So, oops, that was my spoilers. You can't see that. I do have a top favorite. No. We'll just write general. Wait, let's make this a different color. I think I spelled that right even. Actually very good at spelling, but when you're writing, sometimes brain and hand don't speak. So, the pen I started the month with, I loved this combination. So, it's not surprising. It's, to me, really funny. You see basically almost all of my pins here. And this is the third cheapest. <laughs> okay? I think. I think that I know that the shark pin costs less, and I believe the... Um, Coeco Perkeo costs less. But after that is this Twisby Go. This has a broad nib and it's got Diamine Earl Grey. I love Earl Grey the tea, I love Grey the color, and I love Earl Grey the ink. So, favorites Twisby Go, Diamine Earl Grey. Loved it. This was not a surprise that I loved this. Um, then if we go uh, down, and I'm gonna start off with pen and ink combos that I really liked. This lovely pen that it's like magic because when I look at the pen, I see a mostly green pen, green pen. When I look at the camera, I see a blue pen. So you can keep that in mind. But I loved this combination. So this was the Santini Libra with Pure Pins Perth, Porth Kerno. Um, this was a new to me ink. I picked that up on my trip, sort of. I mean, I had it sent to me. Um, this one here was a surprise favorite. I wasn't expecting to love this as much as I did. I love the pen. This is a Walltown Pins, the... Uh, Katzberg model and the ink in this um, it was one I hadn't used it is Jacques Herbon uh, Shogun it is um, because of the shimmer it's doing a little bit of hard starts This is just such a delightfully wet ink. On every paper I used it on, it was super smooth. And let me see if I can, I, I, I may have even written like, gosh, I love this ink. Um, but it, it definitely surprised me because it's not like super flashy. No, I am talking about prosciutto and sandwiches though. Uh, so anyway, there's that one. Loved it. And by the way, these are in order, of course. <laughs> Another combination I quite liked. I kind of feel like this is almost cheating because I would probably like anything in this pen. This is my Lamy 2000 and in it we had Le Bon Zeus. But I'm going to claim that part of the reason I liked this was the shading. Um, which uh, you're not getting as much of that now because it's super saturated because it's been sitting. But it did have quite lovely shading. Uh, and... Now we can go through, now these were the combinations I like. So 
some favorite inks. I don't like it in this pen, but Sailor Michigan, and this pen is probably super dry. Um, so we're not going to call it the pen, but we're going to say Sailor Michigan. And I want to say that if you don't want to spend the money on this, you could also get Robert Oster Soda Pop Blue, and it's close. Probably close enough. Uh, another one that I liked, the ink, but not particularly the pen. Um, was Abigail. And I can't show it to you. Because this is totally dry. So I had Abigail in this Jinhao 159. And it's empty. So we'll write it in with another ink. Put it in quotes. Maybe I should, no, we're just going to do it. We're not going to. Well, that's funny. This isn't writing. I just used this. Why aren't you writing? You hear me scribbling. Not using that to write it down. Abigail. I loved that one. I really liked, um, I'm not a huge fan of green, but I really liked this ink, which is Van Diemen's Sea Turtle. It's more of a cool green. It's, a, it's again, it's coming out more... Hello. Just throw your pen so you like it. Coming out more saturated than it actually wrote. When it wrote, it was much lighter in general. Um, well, that said something. Um, and then, let me see. Did I write all of these things down that I wanted to write down? No. The one honorable mention is just like the pairing that was meant to be but um, I don't think it's a perfect pairing is my, uh, and I don't think it's a perfect pairing because of the nib size. So this is my, um, hello, Newton Majestic Kiwi Inks. Nebula Space Kitty. So these had to go together. This was always going to be the first pen that I put that ink in, even though I think it'd be better in a broad nib. It had to be in here. And it will probably never be in here again. And I suspect that I'm just going to go clean it out. I think I used a lot of the ink. Mm, there's a little bit left, but I don't want to leave shimmer ink in this pen. So, those were our hits, our favorites. What were some of our misses? Well, Not so favorites. Now, no shaming intended. These inks were still fantastic inks, but they were not the right thing for me for the use I was putting them to. Wait, hold on. We didn't. Uh, we didn't. That's better. So. We have 
Now here's what's interesting. Writing with it on copy paper, I didn't have a problem. But, on my um, Cosmo or Light, real problem. Twisbeco with a broad nib, Pannonia, Orgona. And maybe you can tell why this was not a favorite. It was too light. At one point, I wrote, F this ink. Um, I was trying to like get my thoughts out and get them onto paper, and I felt like I was fighting the pen and ink to do that. And so that was a failure for me for that use. Now, I do still think it's really pretty, and I think if I show you, here is what it looked like on uh, this copy paper, and you can see it's perfectly legible. It sinks in a bit more. So that's nice. The next one, wait, is it this pen? I think so. Should we double check? Yeah, because I don't wanna cast aspersions. Yeah. So we have a I'm just going to call this a Twisby Mini. And. Wait, no, no, that's not right. I started to, to I was casting aspersions. I wiped it off. Venta. Peria. Again, too light. Maybe I should write that. Too light. These are probably out of order now. I'm not fixing it. I hope it was, I mean, this was over here somewhere. Too light. And the last one that I felt like I'm, I was gonna call out is not a favorite is, um, what's funny is they're all in Twisbees. And what's, and I do love these pens, but I'm not going to say that it's a, you can't just like blame the ink because it's never that simple. Now, wait. Linta Pectangi. This one was inconsistent. So I would get, right now you can see there's tons of shimmer in there, but most of the time it was actually really light to again where I couldn't see because Without the shimmer, it's a really light gray. And I also didn't like that the color was inconsistent. So um, I think some people would actually really enjoy that. It just wasn't my jam. So here's where we are. Now, here's another question. It's the end of the month. I actually used a bunch of ink samples. Have I bought any of these? And do I plan on it? Um, and if we flip back to here and we look at just ink colors and I call out like what are my, if I look at these this page, what is my favorite? This is a really bright phthalo blue, to my eyes phthalo blue, sort of a warm leaning blue. And this is everything that makes me happy. Now, the color is not coming across right on my screen. Oh well, right? We all know how that works. Love it. I also really like petrol blue. I'm definitely, and, and I own this, uh, I'm definitely not buying a bottle of Mont Blanc ink. Nope. Lamy blue kind of surprised me. It's a sleeper. It's a really just basic blue, but sometimes you want that, right? Um, I love aquamarine. Um, and if we're also just looking at colors I like, Perth, Porth Kerno Cove, Patina, 
Peria as a color, Orgona as a color. Um, I like Zeus a lot. Uh, Abigail. Um, Glamorous Peacock, Earl Grey, obviously. I do like this Trey Calori, uh, Gold Sheen Violet, Nebula Space Kitty. Um, I, did, I chose some that kind of pushed, like, where I wasn't comfortable, Zuzmo. Um, I don't love it, but it's a great ink. It's just, like, somebody's going to love it, but I'm not surprised I don't love it because green and brown are not my favorites, and this is kind of like a brownie green. Um, and Makopa I thought I would love, but the sheen overtakes it and takes it to a place that I don't love. Uh... Any, uh, if we look at this page, do you have a favorite of these ink colors? Do you have a least favorite? Now, admittedly, you're not getting the same view of this that I am, but no, well, I'm going to show this. Do you see that right there? That Pagtangi? Here's a, here's a glimpse of how inconsistent it is. So there's the swatch. There's today's writing. So, all in all, I'm really glad I did this. And I'm thinking I probably, as it stands right now, I'm considering doing this again in September. Um, I have one or two more pins and um, a few new inks. And my plans with these pins is, it, I've been thinking about that a lot. And there's some that I think I am going to use until they're empty. And the plan for those, I've had them in here. So the ones I've said that I'm going to use till they're empty, I think I was upside down. It doesn't matter, Marina. These were my initial... Um, there were four, but I used one. These three I planned on using till empty. And it's funny because you may say this one wasn't even on your favorites. And it's not. Like the combo I didn't love. But this is a new pen. It's got a lot of ink in it. And I may as well use it up because I do actually really like the color. It just wasn't a favorite. Even though I do like it here. So who knows? Like just what do I know? I don't know anything. Um, I know... I'm probably going to dump this out back into its sample container because I can't be having a pin that I'm like, ha, ah! throwing. <laughs> I didn't actually throw it. This one um, is almost empty and doesn't want to write. Cleaning that out. Um, and probably any of the ones that I felt were really light to write with. Probably cleaning those out. Um, anything that has shimmer, unless I use it like right now, I'm probably going to clean that out too because I don't like to leave those in my pens. But uh, that's where we are. So if you enjoyed this, if you have any questions for me, leave them. I'm curious your take on it. And if you think you will be doing uh, something for 30 inks, 30 days, or a similar sort of thing for yourself. Anyway, um, that's my take for now. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and clean some pens. Thanks, everybody. Bye.